Working as a bud tender was a wild job, and it was almost nothing like I expected. But I know that between each state, the rules are so different, the stores are so different, that it's probably a wildly different experience wherever you go. So I recently had a chat with my homie Duty Beard on my new podcast, The High Chat Podcast, and he works as a bud tender in L.A., so I figured he'd have some wild stories. Check out the conversation. It's different in every state what people typically get, but like what what do people typically come in? What's a typical transaction? The stores, I've been to a bunch of stores in a bunch of different areas. Um, one store that I go to is, uh, it, it was big on deals. They had a humongous wax selection, a big crowd, uh, you know, kind of like what you're used to from a busy place, more people who kind of are weed knowledgeable, kind of stuff like that. Uh, when I worked in Washington, many, most stores are like that. Probably the same in Colorado. Out here, what I've noticed is that each store is like super different. And the main thing that I've noticed is the first party stores like Stizzy has their own store and uh, Green Dragon is a company that has their own store. We are a store that is our own product. So that's like something that I'm seeing everywhere. And I thought I noticed it when I moved here, but now I'm seeing it everywhere. My area... And our transactions, I'm not going to lie, it's a lot of people who don't know, like, anything about a lot, some, it's a lot, it's just people who want the highest THC percentage, like, 99% of the time. Like, no matter what, no matter what, we used to have, like, this super cheap brand that was, like, just cheap, and the percentage was super high, and it was just, like, bad, it was brown and not, you know, it was brown, brown, brown and brown and whatever and people would be like yeah but it's but it's third but it's 34 percent but it's but it's 34 and i'm just like you know i don't want to be too much of an elitist dickhead uh you know i i kind of softly i'm like well there's blah, 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 blah. And, and and then they're like yeah yeah but this one's 27 percent so it's like oh yeah, yeah let's get this yeah let's, yeah let's get this one let's get this one. <laughs> and it's just like that that's mostly what the clientele is like yeah. Um, we also, because we're a first party store, we have super cheap, our first, our brand. So it's a lot of that too. And that's kind of it. Rarely does somebody like, you know, just like, kind of like click with like what we're talking about and it's like, oh, terpenes, oh, this is, and it's, and, and it's nice. And then everybody joins it and the manager yeah. comes downstairs <laughs> and it's like, uh, you know, it's, it's a good vibe at the store where we're really chill. It's slow. Bring my laptop. I get a lot of Twitch. I'm on, I'm on Twitter a lot more during the day. You might, I don't know if I'm in your feed or whatever, but I'm I'm just doing a lot more during the day because it's like slow. You get to just um, chill on your laptop on Twitter? At uh, at work, you mean? Yeah, they just let you chill on your <laughs> laptop. They're not like yes. organize the shelf and roll some pre-rolls or something. Like <laughs> it's, it's it's so it's so slow. It's like always done, oh, yeah. you know. Like I mopped the floor today. I mopped the floor. Oh, man. It's very dirty. It's funny because I mopped yesterday. Anyway, that's too yeah. Anyway, so a lot yeah, of your customers, it's, it's so clean. <laughs> a lot of your customers are size queens. They gotta, they gotta have the biggest percent. It doesn't matter <laughs> anything. It's just gotta it's be this to number it. or bigger. Like it's size queens. That's it. yeah. That's what I call it. It's like nothing matters but the number <laughs> I tell you. Like nothing matters but one number. This number could be wrong. It could be wrong. The tester could have messed I'm up. The problem. <laughs> Yeah. Maybe maybe I'm the problem. Maybe I should endorse their decisions a little bit more. You know, maybe I should make them feel yeah. A lot of people, well, a lot of dispensaries when you go in and shop as a customer, they go, "Do you want sativa or indica?" And then they just start rattling off the highest percent. We got this at thirty one, this at twenty nine, this at twenty eight. It's like a top down, like you just go in and get the highest percent until it's all gone, and then. <laughs> I don't. Luckily, they usually know what what they want there Luck luckily they're good there but yeah it's just the fact that beyond a deal or highest percentage they're always just like i don't know what is weed i ever since i moved to washington i noticed okay it's all branding got to find my favorite thing mm. and then when i moved back here it was like okay it's just like it was it's all branding gotta gotta go back into it and nobody seems to these people who've lived here forever and have been smoking they only beyond like a camino they don't know the brands and it's maybe it's because i'm like slightly autistic but it's just like come on you got to have a favorite something <laughs> Right. Uh, I'm pretty easy. I might be an annoying customer for you because I go in and I just say, just give me whatever. They're like, do you want no, sativa that's, or indica? That's fine. Like, 
Just it's I want fine. two ounces. Give me whatever. Just don't give me all the same thing. And it, <laughs> no, I, yeah, no, I do that to try to save time because for some reason I'm just like every time I'm in the dispensary, like eight other people check out. They come and go, and I'm still in there. Like I don't mean to take this long. I just get me give me whatever. I'm just I only go for like sure. once a month, and I try to buy as much as I can, so I don't have to keep going every week or whatever. Like I used to shop every day, two times a day at the dispensary. I'm like, all right, I gotta. I'm just wasting time. Like I don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't like to go too often. I just I'm a work. You know outside yeah. of work there is a place close by that i've liked it is a first party store and i like them they just have yeah. a really good product and it's nice to get it for cheap mm -hmm. like really nice yeah and working there being able to just come home with it taking a stop out of it sometimes is nice it depends on it's how your job yeah. works do they let you get tips where you're at you got a tip jar or something like that? <coughs> they do. Yeah. Yeah. They totally do. Okay. They totally sometimes do. it's cool like the free the... weed jar. <laughs> they have, I mean, they have like, in, they have like weed incentives. They have, you know, samples, lots, lots of samples from the vendors. Obviously it's, it's uh... in Washington. It was very different. Washington, we would have quarterly meetings and then we, and this is just one story. And then we would take home a test and then bring back the test like and then we'd get our uh, like homework like a homework quiz yeah like oh, homework. <clears throat> oh and then no, we'd get dude. our bag and then I we'd have cheat. more homework we'd have to review three things from the bag and the samples were like bullcrap the edibles were never medicated it was like quarter grams of wax weed and just like you know just unmedicated full glad full drinks so it's just like oh you know whoopee you know no big deal here it's more of here's a bunch of shit that they gave us here here's a va here's a vape here's a couple eights here's some joints it's every every month or so there'll be a bag for us with like a ton of shit yeah if i were to ask my boss like hey i'm going to a concert backstage blah 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 can i like get some shit and she'll be like, yeah, here's some shit. You know, she's cool. It's it's all good. Yeah. There's too much shit for me to even I, I'm ever since I started working in weed, it's just like I don't even, you know, who I don't I don't want it all. You know, it's like I just want enough for, for me to not go back for a week, I guess, and or my budget. Yeah. No, that's that's it. It's one less thing to worry about. It, it kind of takes care of itself a little bit easier. Yeah. And then I, I I know it's just my store. I know I'm pretty lucky. Uh also we weren't allowed to like smoke at all and they were super strict about it in washington and here they're not uh, super strict about it that is one of those things that's weird they're like sell the weed but if you're high i swear i'll yeah, write you no. up like hey, come on <laughs> <laughs> they were weird about it in washington and here they like don't they're just not uh, they don't care they're just or you know off record i mean you get legal, maybe legal better customer service yeah. if somebody's high maybe <laughs> Yeah, it's what's the what's the big idea? That's the thing. It's just like I don't have anything else beyond that. It's just like come on. Like come know? on. I feel like if I feel like if you're gonna if you're trying to bridge between the stigma and the norm, then bridge the stigma and the norm. Don't don't like villainize what we're trying. You know, yeah. you know, I, I, unless someone is just like too much, which we never, which nobody is. I just we haven't we haven't. In my, I guess I've been at this place for like almost two years or something. No one has been too much. There was one bud tender who, this is kind of a fun story. I guess there was samples within metrics, you know, the system that were gone missing. And that is a big deal. It was a lot. It wasn't like one or two. It was like, hi, Bubba. It was a lot. It was a lot. And he was approached because the guy named him, the vendor named him, and he denied it. He just straight up denied it. There, um, there was like a whole box of sa a box, a literal box of samples missing. Hi, Bobby. <laughs> a whole box. Um, <laughs> and uh, he denied it. So they were just like, okay, they left it alone. And then after like a couple months, there was like, like the consequences. Like you're not allowed to buy from them for ah, uh, god, like a couple of years and something else. The whole network would be. And so they had to approach it. They had to check the cameras, and they saw that he outside in the parking lot he had taken the samples like he straight up lied about it and everything what's that box bro dude like i can't even i can't even imagine why you, what was why is it a variety of stuff or the same thing Just in the, the no it's a ton of joints it was like it was like 100 or 150 joints it's fucking crazy but it like come on like you were gonna get them for free anyway you know it's like come on <laughs> for joints so, dude shit it's shit it's just crazy beyond that we for haven't seen rolls. i mean i haven't seen anything beyond that that's the weirdest thing that's happened at the store dang you can see the full version on Spotify or the High Chat Podcast YouTube channel. It's on Apple Podcasts and more. Go check out the full episode. Have a good day, my dudes.